Hey friends, it's Megan Elizabeth from buymeganelizabeth.com. And uh, if you watched the last card video that I did, I had cut out and prepped a few things that I really liked. And I just decided, go ahead, let's make another video showing making three different cards, uh, like square cards in a really quick, easy way. Uh, basically just using the, the kit, the, uh, here it is, forward with faith kit from echo park it's what i've been featuring all month uh of march inside of she makes club and here in my tuesday tutorials and other videos up by megan elizabeth and so um i just wanted to do one more video with it showing doing three simple cards so i have a 12 by 12 piece of paper and what i'm gonna do is cut it in half at six inches And then I'm going to go to the three inch line and I'm going to do three, three, we're going to get four cards out of this, which is perfect because I did have four that I wanted to do. Where is the fourth one? Let me go it. Okay. I believe and the count your blessings I think is just awesome. So I'm going to cut those, trim those off as well. Okay. So let's get this done. I'm actually going to trim these. These squares, if you cut them exactly, are all three inch by three inch squares. But because I'm making the cards three inches, I'm going to make them just a little bit smaller so that we have a little bit of trim and like edges and we're just making them really simple because these are great little like pick-me-up notes you can leave them as little bits of encouragement for people um you know drop one in the mail they're just really small and just say hey i'm thinking about you i'm praying for you just a way to give a little bit of joy um maybe leaving them If you're still going to workplaces, you can leave them as little notes for people too. So just little three by three cards sometimes are a great little simple reminder and encourager. And that's what I think is really cool about something like this. So you can obviously put them on scrapbook pages. You can even use these four hidden journaling cards. So you could do it exactly the same way that I'm creating what are little like note cards but you could also do them on your scrapbook layouts and you could use this exact same format and stick it onto a scrapbook page and I can show you what that would look like too in this video when it's all said and done because I think it could be really cute um I'm not gonna go like too crazy small with them all like there's just a little bit of edge is what the my thought process is here all right, so four cards. Fold my cardstock in half. make these like obviously super simple which is what I love about little kits like this but I love that it says like I believe and it ugh, they're just so cute and like encouraging so again I've cut them just a little bit trimmed down around the side so that there's a little pink border around the edge but we're going to decorate them a little bit we'll give a little we'll give a little pizzazz and a little bit of dimension with some extra embellishments on each one I can't ever just let it go with just adhering one thing down that's just not how I roll but still this is so cute so count your blessings sometimes all it takes is just one little prayer to change everything truly believe that Ooh, 
that one like just fits and that's so cute. That's stinking adorable. Man, the little tiny pink edge with that black and white. Ah, I love it. All right, we're gonna do these all the same way because I actually wanna show you how you can do it and incorporate these onto a scrapbook page as well. Because I don't wanna leave you with just this. Even though I think many would be happy to walk away with four cute little cards like this that they can encourage their kids or friends or whoever, whoever with right now encourages you. So I'm going to grab some white enamel dots for this one. And do that. And that. And this on that. And you know what, we're gonna do some white enamel dots on this one too. I'm not gonna do it on all three, or all four, but. Let's do them here. Like that. I love craft paper, like this craft color paper with the tiny attacher. I think it looks so cute. So I'm gonna do little crisscross tiny attachers on this one. Here, here, oh yeah. I'm gonna do all four corners on this in a crisscross pattern. Like that's gonna be just enough little bling on here. So all four there. And then this one needs a little something too, but I don't want to do the white or let's do some pink glitter enamel on here. I feel like that's what this could use. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just need a little bit of pink glitter dots. Yep, that's what that needed. All right, now, Okay, we have all four of these great little notes. We already established that. Let's grab one of the um, 12 by 12 sheets of paper. Again, it's from the same Forward with Faith kit. I am not crazy about the back side of this, but I love this side. And I was really trying to think, like it has like a little grid and it goes like A through Z and you could like fill in different things and make it a little chart or do different things with. But the other thing that you could do with this is create an actual 12 by 12 scrapbook layout and use each the inside of each one of these for your journaling. All right, so you could do something like this. Give it an additional strip. This is like a lot of pink, but we're gonna give it one more strip all the way across okay and then I'm gonna make my photo mat in a pop of teal uh, am I gonna do teal I don't know if that's big enough we could grab the rest of this pink and make it completely coordinate and really pink it out so we already know that's six inches um all right, let's do four and a quarter. Here. So that can go there, side by side with the little notes. Push these down. Utilize those little grid lines to kind of line things up. And there you'd have a scrapbook layout. Now, obviously you could add additional embellishments like butterflies or even some of these flowers or the trees but you can see it's a really really simple quick kind of design and then instead of having your journaling be front and center in public as you're flipping through scrapbooks you can have it be you'd have to pull the page out and be able to read the different things that may be on your heart and on your mind you could write little prayers or little things that you want to release or little things that you want to believe and welcome in you know all of those different things the thing write your blessings you know all of those different things could go inside of these little cards so this is a great idea to do even with um photos as well so instead of doing just direct photo matting fold it in half 
mount your photo onto a three by three square and then have a journaling block for each one inside of there as well. So I hope this just gives you some fun ideas and some inspiration for right now. It gives you a little bit of enjoyment, a little bit of encouragement for your day. I hope you get out and you make and you enjoy and come share your stories with us inside of She Makes Club. We would absolutely love to have you and do not forget to enter our Cricut Joy giveaway. Details at bymeganelizabeth.com or aboveruby studio.com. Have a great day. Enjoy the moment. I'm thinking about you. Bye-bye.